The journey from food to body fat begins in the mouth, where food is mechanically chewed and enzymatically broken down by saliva, initiating the breakdown of carbohydrates. Afterwards, the food travels down the esophagus and enters the stomach, where gastric fluids further break down the food into smaller components. Once partially digested food leaves the stomach, it enters the small intestine, where most nutrient absorption occurs, aided by enzymes from the pancreas and bile from the liver, facilitating the digestion of fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. These nutrients are broken down into their simplest forms, glucose from carbohydrates, fatty acids from fats, and amino acids from proteins, absorbed into the bloodstream through the intestinal wall. Glucose serves as the body's primary energy source, transported to cells throughout the body after absorption into the bloodstream. Cells use glucose for immediate energy needs or store it for future use as glycogen in the liver and muscles. However, if the body's glycogen stores are full, or if glucose intake exceeds energy expenditure, excess glucose is converted into fat through a process called lipogenesis. Triglycerides synthesized in fat tissue are stored in fat cells for use when energy demands are low, such as during periods of rest or when calorie intake exceeds expenditure. When energy demand is low, for example during rest periods or when calorie intake exceeds expenditure, the body signals adipose tissue to store excess energy in the form of triglycerides. These triglycerides accumulate in fat cells, leading to an increase in fat mass and body weight over time.